Hey everyone, my name is Ranak, back with another video and this is 15th video in the getting started with the machine learning playlist and in this video you are going to learn the F1 score. So let's get started. So in this tutorial we will be covering the F1 score. Confusion matrix, precision and recall are the prerequisites for this tutorial. So if you want to get started with this one, you need basic understanding of the confusion matrix and the precision and recall. If you don't know, check the 13th and 14th video in my getting started with the ML playlist. So what is F1 score? So in statistical analysis of binary classification, the F1 score is a measure of tests accuracy. The F1 score is the harmonic mean of the precision and recall where an F1 score reaches its best value 1 and worst at 0. So it lies from 0 to 1. So we can uh, assume it as a, the probability of 0 to 100 percent. And in the binary classification, okay, so when you have the binary classification problem, you can get the accuracy of your model. So it is going to give you your testing accuracy, not training accuracy. Training accuracy, we will find it later on. So it is going to give you your testing accuracy and the F1 score is also known as the harmonic mean of the precision and recall. This is where the F1 score is calculated between the 0 and 1. So F1 score is given by this formula. So F1 score is equal to 2 into precision into recall by precision plus recall. Formula is really easy and for this you have to learn the precision and recall. So that is the prerequisite. That is the reason I told you to refer my earlier tutorials if you don't have any idea. If you know about them, you can just get along with this one. So let us learn with an example. So assuming that I have my Y labels and these are my Y predicted labels. So whenever I get the labels, I'll be able to differentiate. So I find the confusion matrix first of all. So that is, uh, I get true positives as 3, true negatives as 1, false positives as 2 and false negatives as 0. So we similarly get the precision and recall. So the precision is equal to true positives by true positives plus false positives. That is the formula of the... Uh, precision similarly we have the recall which is also known as sensitivity so the formula is given by true positives by true positives plus false negatives and we get and now we club them to get the f1 score so this is it so we get 0 0.6 by 1.6 and we get 0 0.75 percent that is 75 percent so 75 percent is the accuracy score of our model that it says the 75 percent of the time my testing data is going to be accurate and now uh, let us uh, move on with the implementation of this thing in the python yeah so let's get started with the implementation so for this i'll be starting right from the scratch and i don't want to get uh, i don't actually want you to get caught up with the logistic regression okay so so in that perspective i'll say so y is equal to i'll make the data first so 0 0 0 1 1 1 that is my data and uh, y pred i'm giving as uh, and we have it and now let's get started so what I'll do is I'll start right from the scratch so that you can just uh, uh, get along with it very easily. So I'll say class matrix and then I'll create a function. So first I'll start with the confusion matrix. That is the first phase in this thing. So confusion matrix and I'll say self and it takes two parameters. So it is going to take y and y prime. Otherwise I can just uh, club them inside itself. Because we are not concerned with uh, calculating each and every single thing right from scratch. And now I'll say true positives. So uh, what I'll do is I'll declare them over here. So I'll say true positives is equal to 0. True negatives is equal to 0. False positives is equal to 0. And false negatives is equal to 0. Here I can say n is equal to length of y which is 6. And now here I'll say for i in range of n i want to perform something so what i'll do is i'll be testing the y if y is equal to equal to 1 and y pred is y pred of i is equal to equal to 1 i get true positives so i'll say true positives plus or equal to 1 and now I'll just uh, copy this thing and make the changes as required. And now here I can say if both are zero, okay, if both of them are zero, I'll get true negatives. Similarly, if the y is zero and y pred is one, it is false positives. So I'll say f of p and here f of n. And here I'll make it as zero. Yeah, and I got those and now I can say uh, return the 
confusion matrix so basically they are outside my class so i'll have to say self over here so self dot self self and self and now i'm i'll be just uh, returning those so here i'll say return self dot tp self dot tn now i will uh, start with the precision and recall i'll just club both of those in uh, single class itself and now i'll just say so this is also one of the things that i'll be using throughout my classes so i'll say recall is equal to 0 and here i'll say precision and recall so i'll say precision so self dot precision because i am using it and self dot so self dot precision is equal to true positives so self dot true positives divided by self dot true positives plus self dot true uh, false positives so f of p and i'll just now uh, say self dot recall so self dot true positives divided by self dot true positives plus self dot false negatives so this is the formula of recall and now i'll just uh, print both of these so i'll say let's say precision precision and here i'll say self dot precision Similarly, I'll say recall. So I'll take it on the new line. So recall, and here I'll say self dot recall. And now comes the F1 score. So here I'll say F1 score self, and here I'll say F1 underscore, or I'll just say F1. F1 is equal to 2 into so first it is self dot precision into self dot recall divided by summation of both of those terms so self dot precision plus self dot recall and now i'll just print it so i'll say f1 score and I'll just say F1. Here yeah, it is done. Now I'll just say model is equal to matrix. So I am just uh, feeding it my class. And now I'll say model dot confusion matrix. Then I'll say, so let me just uh, print this thing. And then I'll say model dot precision recall followed by model dot f1 score and we run it so invalid syntax okay let us check mm. oh <laughs> i forgot the if so if is to be mentioned and we have it so i get the true positives true negatives false positives false negatives similarly i get the precision similarly i get the recall similarly i get the f1 score that we calculated manually that is 0 0.75 so 0 0.74 nine, 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 gives us approximately 0 0.75 which is closely equal to 75 percent in scikit so from sklearn dot matrix import f1 score and here i can say f1 score and it takes two parameters so y and y pred and we have it so this is exactly same as we have calculated so this is it for this tutorial so thank you for watching goodbye